let's mm. put our Monkey King mid and pick a new carry for the side mm. lane. And they didn't do that. They just said, you know what, Monkey King, good luck. I'm going to play Shadow Fiend mid and I'm going to try and 1v5. We got action. Yeah, maybe a chance here for a kill, Dubu. Oh no, oh no, it's going the other way. Flea, run out of there. Is Flea living? He's actually gone. He ends up not stunned. able to secure it. Yeah, he took stun level one. Interesting. He, he didn't use it either, so. Or boundless strike. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, he didn't use it early. Yeah. He could have used it when all three of his teammates were attacking the hero to get like, Oops. you know, extra one or two right clicks each. Thinking too much there, Peter. You're uh, you're on some new stuff right there. Well, he's he, uh, he, he went mid. He did. You're not wrong. Um, takes him away for a little bit. They're kind of getting set up. Are they going to full on trialing this to try and secure his farm? I think that's what they're attempting to do here. Uh, this is the the bad scenario though. If he goes down, find yourself in the uh, the second death. Oh, here we go. There's the trialing kill. This could be good for him. And yeah, Flea able to pick up a quick one. So much needed. Uh, and Moon now probably going to try and come and collect this wave, pull it back behind the tower. What's Tide going to do, though? Where are you going? Uh, yeah, the Tide pick was, again, out of order, right? Because they saw the storm, and then they went for the, the Tide anyway. I think, I mean, you have to blind pick two cores on second pick, so I think the Tide thing was fine. Um, I was kind of surprised Radiant didn't go with Ursa, but Jug is also pretty good. I think Ench Jug is probably a pretty tough lane for Tide. Yeah, uh, I just they're going to Ursa too. Yeah, it's like, there's a really random Winter Wyvern pick in here, which is very similar to the random AA we saw in the last game. <laughs> okay. Those are just really bad in lane. W wouldn't you agree? Yes. It's like, Wyvern used to be a lot better in lane, I think, back like before a lot of the nerfs and everything, but now it just doesn't really feel that strong. Like, you can't like bully out people with the arctic burn anymore your main she benefit is wyvern cooldown. yeah like all you can do is like splinter blast tier twos now that's that's the wyvern life although i i will say that having the answer of just sticking another hero in the lane and going back to full on tri lanes does feel like it's a way to mitigate those problems like that that this is sort of the thing that we didn't see them do last game where sure they kind of just got bullied and now they kind of have a way to lane it and tide I mean, you know, he's not having a great time, but he's level two. He's, he's no, working on it. You're 100% right. And that was a, a conscious decision made by Black and Yellow to not pick their carry with that last pick, right? Like I mentioned, they chose to pick their mid laner. Right. But it just puts a lot of pressure on Royoya to do really well. And that being said, he probably is their best player. So uh, maybe that's okay. But the mid lane is just, it's tough to use your last pick on mid lane because it can really just be decided on, you know, what side of the river does the four minute rune spawn on? Right. True. Yeah, Storm yeah, gets Storm is. gets a regen at four minutes. Like even though he lost his lane, does he care? Yeah, it's interesting Whereas, because like the, the side lanes are more stable in that regard because you don't have like as many X factors and, and randomness yeah, like that. No, there's no RNG rune. Yeah, but at the same time, there's also like less interactions if it's like one v one and not uh, you know multiple units. But yeah, I would agree that the, the uncertainty is definitely there. But again, they at least get saber light. Yeah. Very important for the uh, the mentality of this monkey king. Oh, Viper actually hates having a bad laning phase. I mean, he can farm decently well with Nether Toxin, but he's kind of a hero that wants to play from ahead. Yo, Royoya is giving Bryle the treatment. Saber Light oh, had to TP to refill the bottle, uh, which there does help. That's nice. But, uh, you know, now you're also, you know, a level two it's... Viper that's running back top. <laughs> no, this is this is like the old tri lane meta. Like, Saber Light's just admitted that he's like, you know, the off laner who's getting nothing. Like, Dubu's gonna like, Dubu it. Uh, Storm and Jug are going to be the most farmed, right? The offlane doesn't really exist for Radiant. And it's the same thing for Dire, right? Yeah, look at Zero, yeah, it's right? Like, yeah, it's going to be like it's going to be like a two-core game with three supports each because you know teams are really just shutting down. Uh, oh, we're going on again, eh? Oh, Saber Light dropping down pretty low. Can they get a kill here on the fleet? It would be huge if he goes down before Saber Light, and he will. Now stepping outside of the break, he needs oh, to build back no. up. The stacks gets one, a double kill, Moon! The triple kill! Oh, he it's waited. Over. All right, they got it's three cores again. <laughs> All right, that was sick, actually. I wondered why he didn't go for the last hit there on the side, but uh, he trapped the second uh, and third kill there. Oh. Yo, pink out of regen, pink out of regen. Okay, turning it. It's two on to Bryle. Jube looking for the chase down. Can they get into rage? Oh, oh regen yeah. broken. Annoyed. Yeah, he's, got, he's got it for sure. All right. 
That's all right. Storm, Storm didn't get that four minute rune that we were talking about, so his game is, you know, it is pretty tough. Only three Storm's times faced off this patch. Wow. Storm's up 20 to 7 in the matchup in the past year. Everybody knows SF is a griefer pick. Okay. <laughs> that hero is like, uh, it's like you got your swag mid player, you ask, you, you make the mistake of asking your mid player what he wants to play, and he, and he just volunteers up Shadow Fiend as the first That's one, and you know, you've only got five seconds of reserve time left, and, right. and you, make, you make a last minute decision. Yeah. Trust your team. It ends up falling apart as zero is going to go down. Do you like the new arcane build, the blink build, or is that like the next level of griefing? I think you need duels this game because if you time it correctly, you can actually combo Juggernaut before he can get spin off. King. He is just so dead. Look at this guy. <laughs> but he just might got his boots delivered. Yeah, this Ooh. lane's impossible for Monkey King when he actually has to play against the Viper. That is uh, starting to happen at least a little bit up here. And Moon, in the meantime, is level five, has that Orb of Corrosion, and is just chasing heroes down one by one. Jubei trying to get away from him here. Has another swashbuckle up in a second, but not going to go for it. I feel like I'm watching the same game as last one, where it's like, Yemsen is struggling so terribly in his side oh. lane. They're gonna try right. again to get Saber Light. Oh, all right, they got him. They get Moon now, nothing to break it. He's out. So they're, they're, they're making a conscious effort as Bryle needs to get away. One more raise in a second. Does he have the angle? Oh, he's oh, not the quite enough. Drop. Damn. Keeps him alive. Another rune going the way of Rhea. Yeah. yeah so I mean, you're, you're you're telling me that like yeah, Yamsum not having a great time, uh, but he's still getting involved in like a couple of these kills here and there. It feels like. No, I think that trialing was, was super helpful, and you can see his net worth is actually the highest for his team. So I didn't mean that he was like struggling. I just meant like he. I don't know. I guess I, I didn't really mean it like that. I was probably okay. wrong. But the Night Stalker is, looks a lot like this Tide Hunter from last game. Gotcha. I'm sorry, this Tide Hunter looks a lot, oh, a lot like the Night Stalker. Oh, did you see how close he was? This, he actually just got six on one creep guy in there. That's brutal. Yeah, yeah. Shadow Fiend is popping off, though, which is what they needed. Okay. I, I, I mean, there's some interesting things going on here as they're going to go on the flee. Nobody's showing up for a TP rotation. He was so greedy. He was like trying to tease Tomato for the longest time there. Eventually gets Omni. Tomato has had the two games, again, very similar between this judge and her, so just complete freedom. Uh, will not be surprised to see him just like farm AFK for another, like 13 minutes, pretty much. Yeah, they've, uh, they've waited to see the offliner in both drafts before picking their, for their carry. Oh, Moon comes in to clean up Raya. That's a nice kill for him. Now level six before 10 minutes on this position, quote unquote, four here on Moon. Um, he's actually ahead of the Storm. Yeah, Storm's just been struggling a little bit. Bryle's had a tough time. At least so far. Yeah, he's been getting ganked and he hasn't got any runes. So this could be his first rune, eight minutes. Shadow Fiend's dead, so. Oh, hey, roll on the jump on Yamsung. That was pretty nicely played. They're also going on zero in the mid lane as they're gonna try and bring down Moon. Can they quite do it in time? We'll get at least one kill, but the cold embrace and now Moon, he's in deep. Couple more punches is all they need. Jumps in, trying to make it happen. The dogs are barking, but Moon getting away again. They're gonna find that kill. Meanwhile, mid, they trade off a couple more heroes for the Shadow Fiends. What a freaking massacre. I yeah, it's an absolute drops. bloodbath this game. <laughs> you hate raindrops? What do you mean? They're so good. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, why would yeah, you hate that? Just buy more raindrops. That's all. Bothers you that your spells do no damage to people? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Yeah. It sucks. It's like, the ra like, why would you buy a cloak nowadays ever instead of getting raindrops? There's no reason. Just buying raindrops is well, over and over. If you're going, if you're going Glimmer Cave. You're crazy talk. I, I can't believe you peep. You're out of your mind. It's wild. I actually yeah, really some, some, Everyone you some carries like, back go. Off, backpack your raindrops so you didn't lose them. So you needed them for a recipe. That, that was quality stuff. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> well, 2,000 gold lead at nine minutes now. Uh, Black and yellow definitely looking 
better than last game, but it's not a, a runaway or anything. Ooh, that's here. Speaking of a runaway, Mo Moon had a real bad ulti there. He got turned around the wrong direction when it started, and then Zero just did the okie doke, and I'm just gonna walk away. That's a lot of ward coverage there. That they, they've left that. Obviously, yeah, that word, the longest time. Dyer's that word just attack. stayed there for Dire. It was like so unfortunate that Roria placed it on top of a sentry like like four minutes ago. And it's just mm. still there. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna take that down again. Battling for mid. And Bryle gonna head up to the north. Hope there's a rune. Oof. And it's an arcane bottom. Moon's gonna come on in and take that one away before Roria can get it. Bounty. And now up top again. Uh, Yemson gets hit, can't jump away, in trouble. Tomato's just gonna on the M, try some mischief, but not gonna happen. That was not the way that was supposed to go. Yeah, you hate to see that. It's all right, the real carry is Shadow Fiend anyways. Okay. What, what's what's the, the, the sort of look that Rayo is going for here? Like, does he need to be involved constantly in the fights or does he sort of need to just try and like tank up a little bit, get all beefy? Uh, I mean, he's only going to get tankier through levels because he's going to go Yules and then get a blink. And his play is to combo Storm or Jug, okay. really. Really anyone, I mean. Well, we'll a see how the kill. Shadow Fiend does. Yeah, miss kill on Dubu top. They went for the Hex, but then he had the, uh, the Centaur to cover himself. So the Centaur ends up dying for Dubu, and then down bottom, they get another Pango ulti with an Arcane rune to uh, yeah. bring down Zero. So things Viper, still rolling pretty nice. well. Oh, yeah. They're super nice against the Tide and the Monkey, right? Disabling both their passives. Such a good pick. Viper, he's sort of feeling like that weird role where more often than not, he's just kind of being picked for the Radiance break nowadays. Not attack. really anything else. Well, he's a he's a ranged offlaner, right? right? So generally ranged heroes, if you don't see your matchup, right? Ranged heroes often do better in their lanes than some melee, right? Tide, for example, Tide gets yeah. to play against Jug, whereas if he was like a Furion or an Enigma, like he's going to get something out of the lane. Um, so that's why Viper can be, you know, can be quite good if you have like... Mm. Uh, melee range combo, right? Pango Viper, for example. Yeah. And then the break is, yeah, you're right. The break is the reason that you do pick him because that's kind of his unique thing that he brings to the game. Yeah. Oh, Moon. Oh, oh. Oh, he's fine. He's out of here. Surely. Surely. Yeah, he's running. They're, they are really just like all up in their grill though, taking over everything. Yamsun again, battling it out with Tomato, gets the spin off, and now the run. This is exactly what happened earlier. Tomato yeah, just right like, where he died. Right in their face. Like they're, they're completely shutting them out of their map. They're somehow invading both jungles. Now Moon's gonna get the rollout. <laughs> just try and back away, back towards mid. Zero is getting going on a little bit. And Ryle here went for the Ravage and they can't get it. For Moon, another kill. Uh, dude, I don't know if you guys caught, but who got the 10 minute tome? Because I see the, you know, yes. the level eight, four position and the level five, five position. <laughs> I'll tell you what, as a five position player, that, that's not something that makes me more mad than when my four takes the tome when he's like level seven already. Look, he's getting kills though, makes up for it, right? It's helping out. Yeah, they, get, they gotta get kills somewhere because you guys just talked about it. Like, what part of the bass is Dyer really holding for themselves? Like, Moon and Saberlight are all over this bottom lane. Ryle's pushing mid and the Monkey King's dying top to the jug. It hasn't really been like huge kill differences that feel like they've been leading this game. It's much more the areas where people are able to farm and yeah. well, jump in again. Yeah. Moon backs out. Yes. All right. I got some better tools now. They have Aether Lens on Rasta and Yules on SF now. Oh, Brian actually seized right out here. Storm has Orchid too, so he might look to go. This is the, the item battle, right? Uh oh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get away. Thinking about it, but the pull comes back in. Roya goes for round two. Drops the Requiem, but Tomato still chasing. Zero's nearby, still hanging on to that rabbit. Meanwhile, they've got Shackles on the bottom side, catching on to Dubu and Moomeander, who tries to get away but won't be able to. So two for nothing so far. And Dari losing a couple others. This is big. This is huge. As, uh, look at the Pango's you know, seven streak going the way of Rasta. And uh, the, panel, the panel was talking about it. This is one of kind of his best heroes along with 
Uh, I would say what Earthshaker, but Earthshaker's not very meta, but uh, Marana as well, I think is another one he's super famous for, yeah. who actually first phase Bandit uh, in this game. But yeah, Shadow Shaman, very farmed, right? He has his Aether Lens, and he's on his way probably towards the Blink Dagger. It's going to be huge against uh, Storm and Jug, who Radiant's don't really want to buy BKBs too early. True. Yeah, it can be uh, really backbreaking there. The 3,000 gold lead is next round of runes are going to come up here. And it should be uh, at least two, I would it's imagine, like, for Blink and Yellow. Kind of awkward for Bryo to get kills right now before the Atos on Viper. I feel like, unless Moon's there with the ulti at the same time, the, the gap close is like kind of slow. Look at this Tide. That's depressing. Ooh, jump yeah. back lines though. Finds the M sum. Ryle. This is what I mean. Like, I'll do what gets there in time. But like, how does he finish kills, you know? On uh, Bryle? Yeah, it's like kind of awkward. I just needs more damage. Needs like plus one or he himself just needs to like finish treads before he can solo kill. The monkey. Monkey's pretty tanky. I think he was full HP when he tried there. And that'll help a lot though. The blink now done on moon. So problem solved. There you go. Now I get a serious there. kill threat, but uh, likewise, uh, Roya, he had BKB and Blink queued up for the longest time. Does just snag up the Blink, so. Gotta get a kill and get an Aegis. Mm. Yeah, this gives him some uh, kill potential on the sidelines, especially if anybody is trying to split push. Even this Jug, if he times it right. Still farming pretty aggressively into their base on Team Undyne, and they're actually gonna head into the pit right now themselves. And do they realize that this is happening on black and yellow just outside of Ward Vision? They might have seen them right over there and yeah, the anyway. Out. Oh, there's Ravage in 10 seconds. All right. Moving in. Do -boo, do -boo. The body. I mean, Roche is down to about a quarter HP as they're going to walk in, blow him up once, thinking about a roll now. I don't know if they're going to get it in time. Zero's walking in here. Rooted in some trouble. Silence comes oh, afterwards. No, oh, no. no. Get it off. Oh, oh, my God. The break. Oh, it hurts yeah. so bad. And now the chase is. They want to find Jubei. There's going to be the Winter's Curse used. But uh, I think that they're going to lose at least Jubei here. Oh, that is painful. It's like too good of a Viper game. It really is. Fog? Okay. Shackle afterwards. Takes the Aegis. Now trying to... Oh, I don't know about that one. Kamado <laughs> stuck around. Kamado stuck around. Oh my god. It explodes, Royoya. You got the Aegis no at least. Yeah, that's like every Shadow Fiend in my pub. He just farms <laughs> really up his blink. Much. Farms up his blink. Yules goes to cast his first ultimate. Dies before it goes off. Ugh. A bit too on point there. A little on brand for some NA Dota as uh, tomorrow now has the Blink Dagger as well. So very mobile squad on Undying. Oh, God. Uh, Poor Zero. Got the Aegis, though. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's pretty big. Uh, the other team, like, if Storm keeps his Aegis here, then Dyer feels like they, can, they can't fight for five minutes. And I think that's, like, the last thing they need to do this game. They kind of need to win a fight here pretty soon, I think, so they don't feel Ooh. necessarily scared. Round two? Oh, no! Oh, Lord, kid, he comes out again. Oh, Brian, well, he gets away. J Jenkins said it on the draft, you know, SF, maybe not his best hero. Oh but I believe the word was meh. <laughs> yeah, was meh. That was a pretty meh combo. Feels bad. <laughs> well, you know, these things happen, and uh, I'm sure that they'll be able to get through it. I, I, I still feel like you know, yeah, things are looking pretty bad they're, for they're uh, coming for flea. For you got the ping. Oh god! Right, yeah, oh, Jugga's up to link. Yeah, that's that's pretty devastating. Just sitting on top of a ward now, even. Moon. Try number three. Nah, I'm gonna go for it. What more do you need at this point now? I mean, black and yellow, they've still got some good fighting potential if they can just work everything out perfectly. It just hasn't happened that way so far, it feels like. It's Jubei. It's going to be chased down by Dubu and Moon, keeping their distance so nobody gets caught by a big winner's curse. In the meantime, Raya double raises the wave, pushes it back out again. They're just controlling this entire area up in here. And Dire does have better team fight spells, though. Ravage, Curse. Uh, SF fault, so they Radiant's could potentially win fights uh, from behind. 
They actually have Wukongs too. I, I just don't think I've seen it since that what top fight. Dyer's True. Top it's... Is under yeah, it's not Whoa. the... Wait a minute. Yeah, that shot that trial. Getting caught there. Ravage comes out. No, oh that's not God, the timing dude. that you want. Oh, no. Lordy. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Jubei. Like, but why though? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Jubei. Yeah. Oh. Like Winter Wyvern, man. This hero is. <laughs> the definition of meh. Now, they're gonna blow up Flea Don't one last time there. again. It was looking so that. good, and then it all gets pulled away. Raya now trying to find another jump onto Bryo, but won't be able to. Stupendous. Oof. Yeah, that was some agent level wyvern play right there. <laughs> uh oh. Another Yules. And blink back. Oh, oh. oh Saber lights there as well. Just Got curse them, Jubei. <laughs> you might be able oh, to. Oh, it's on cooldown. It's cooldown. It's cooldown. That's a good point. Saber light. Walks back in. Oh, thank you. Good call, Trent. <laughs> Sorry. It took me a second there. <laughs> This is a disaster. Look at this. They're chasing down Raya. Trying to hit raises. It's not going to be enough damage. Oh, oh wait a minute. Okay. Cool. 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 It's actually not working. Bryo from downtown, though. Yes, I'm on. Stuck to the side. Yamsun, they both find their way out of it. Oh, you got blink blink. away. Kamado uh, gets out. Oh, Bryo finds the kill onto Jubei. And now trying to bring down the Juggernaut, but he's still making a sneaky play out of there moon can you do anything to help us buddy no okay they find the kill now trying to turn this in they're going deeper on a dime still trying to take this fight in spite of losing a couple and they get the shadows onto Bryle. not quite going to be enough there they need more life steal Bryle out of mana chase down coming gets the the strike for the finish Mischief able to walk away again. Yamsum turns, gets some life steal working in his waiver. Oh, but Saber Light's coming back in. And <laughs> Zero's just like, I'm out of here, guys. I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, Zero with the right call there on the bailout. Okay, well, considering how that started, that, that's pretty good. I'll give him that. Uh, is this build real? Eggs next on Zero? Huh. Like I have not seen that in a while. It's not it's not that bad, but I think it's generally better on that tide owner who like sits on the mid lane is like and is like impossible to kill. Radiant's yeah. middle tower is under attack. I think you said like what item would you like him to go for? I think maybe like four staff is nice so we can get out of that nether toxin. That's really like the way he's dying this right. game. Illusion. Oh yeah, he just switched to a BKB. Yeah, fair enough, fair. I I agree. Something that de deals with the nether toxin. I think uh, there is something to be said for the idea of like doubling down on minus armor and getting on everybody. You got Shadow Fiendora, you've got Monkey King who has Aghanims now. Like if they can just manage to like stay alive, reducing all that armor down could be a nice little way to put them in the cheese grater. All right, try number three Dyer's on the Brile. Duels. There it is again. <laughs> yeah, that one hurts. And now trying to walk away, Raya. In some trouble, flee to turn it. Oh, it's okay. all planned. Get it set up. Yeah, it was baited. <laughs> we'll play. Good action in the jungle, though. They're chasing after. Yes. Move. Ah. Who's chasing who at this point here? Dyer's now they need to get out. Is under attack. Well, heads up play by Flea there, recognizing the uh, needed help that they had available. He saw the future, mostly because he'd seen the past. Knew right. the assistance was going to be required here. I mean, the timing would quite literally have to be perfect, right? Uh, well, I think it. I think the idea is that you use it actually before the Yules finishes. That way, like the the Requiem, you know, shoots him out. Yeah, right. yeah. And then you follow I up mean, with the raises. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah. You don't count necessarily on the, all the damage. Shackle? Yeah, it's, you don't need it. Like the raises are funny. Wait. Oh, big jump in rubbish. though. Not gonna catch him. the next guy. Wow. There it is. I was wondering what Moon was going to do. I was like, he needs something there. Yeah. True enough. He's having a rough series, guys. Radiant's bottom tower is under yeah, attack. he's been handed a, a tough hand both times. I'm not going to give him too much shade. That's true, actually. Stalker into Tide against uh, just monstrosity on uh, solo lane. Body block that, so you know. That's fine. Dyer's These things happen. Lucky he walks back in. That's your shame. <laughs> he just pinged it. He's like, oh, someone's warded in there. It's like, no, no, bud, that's you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Big hero model. That's the problem. 
Radiance bottom tower. Um, I mean, there's a couple other things to sort of look at here that I'm interested in. Like, Shaman's got this Aghanims queued up. I'm curious if he decides to just go for that instead of even getting the Blink Dagger. Being like, all right, we just got to all in at a certain point along bottom and try and, like, you know, take these buildings. Not sure. The Aether is really good defensively, and for the most part, it is Undyne coming into them. So I, I don't think he's having much trouble getting off the good hexes. He kind of knows what target is being gone on. Right. I think the blink is too good to pass up on this hero, right? You already have Aether Lens, and then you have a, a level 15 cast range talent that also affects your, your blink dagger and your, like, you know, your reach in the game. And when you're playing against Storm and Juggernaut, like I mentioned before, it's it's so valuable. So, playing without the, I, this hero feels way better with the blink dagger. That is true. And then the benefit of the, the eggs in terms of, like, the damage of the wards can be a little bit unreliable as well. Um, versus yeah, like it's also Storm, kind Pango. Of a, it's kind of kind of a defensive item too, right? If there's like this, you know, phase boot Yasha Jug running at you, you can actually go somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, not just stand still. That's true. I like it. Dyer's top top is They're doing a good job of playing in the side lane. I mean, Flea especially. Like this is this is him, man. Playing in the side lane with the bottom or the Rasta, just like constantly pushing this wave and punishing anyone who tries to be foolish enough to come down here. I would say they've done a very impressive job this game in terms of like the position they were in from the laning stage. Uh, things have been recovered quite well. Obviously, they're still not in a the great spot. Is, positioning on the map is very good right now. You have the Tide, who's kind of like your beefy frontliner. Uh, he's, you know, chilling on the mid lane, making sure this stays pushed, and then they're just sort of trading farm and farming their, you know, farming their Ancients while also still farming Radiant's uh, side of the map. Right. But soon, Radiant will do Roshan. That's kind of up to Tomato to decide, and uh, this is going to be the second Rosh, so I don't think you want to leave that uncontested. I, I will say that it feels like if Undyne get a little bit too complacent, things could very quickly spiral out of control for them, right? Like, you got Winner's Dyer Wyvern, has... Ulti, like, Ravage, yeah. everything. Exactly. Dire is a huge team fight, which means Radiant really needs to Dyer's be careful because top. You know, they've kind of picked for their lanes to some extent, right? With the late Viper and late Jug. Right. So, you know, if they kind of throw away their laning advantage, the game could be, the game is going to be much more difficult. Right. Yeah, and Jubei is more of a problem now. Like, obviously, yeah, he had one bad curse, but the, it, it's not bad to just like single target curse on someone like Storm or Jug as long as there's going to be some follow up too. So, yeah, oh, sure. speaking of which, Jump, broken, wants to back out of it. He's away Never from it right now, I think. No detection. Big? Yep, yep, yep. You got your four position Pangolier with the uh, Quelling Blade, no dust. They're gonna smoke yeah. now and run at them? Wow, only 21. They're like they want to. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is, this is the instant counterplay. BKB Shadow Fiend. Insane. Almost a BKB and Monkey. Are oh, well, where are we going? Triangle? Good about it. Nobody's I home except time for trial. Who's he gonna walk into? Jump away. Chase oh, wants him. to find him. Can't get him. And now, Vision. do they all back out? They're showing mid on this Monkey King. Jump. Boom. Commander blinked in. Oh, he's got the shard. Wait, okay, now needing to be in a little bit of trouble. They pop BKB from Roya, lift up. Now going for that ulti with Dubo off to the side. It hits onto both of them. So takes down one. Enchanter is trying to get out of there and immediately going to TP away, but they get him. Oh, right on top. They find Roya. Did not manage to TP out of there quickly enough. Well done, Bryle, to even go for that. Yeah. Like, just uh, to notice that he's been dragging that out for too long. It's very rare to see that happen on a 10 second BKB. It's honestly probably Moon Meander that called it. Yeah, you're probably right, because he lived for so long. He was like, the what? I mean, he's mad that he's getting comboed by Shadow Fiend, right? It's like, why is that stuff comboing me and not my Juggernaut? True. Ravage afterwards, though. Big jump, finds the kill onto Tomato. Ryle, wanting a little bit of payback yet again, but that BKB is out. Now trying to chase, trying to walk away. Oh, is there detection? Drop down sentry, get him, but the silence comes out in time. Glimmer Cape, trying to walk away. Counter detection, and they will kill off Jubei. He almost had that winner's curse. I like that counter detection. Never heard yeah, that man. before. <laughs> detection into counter detection. That's actually insanely. That's that's most. Back. <laughs> yeah. Needlessly. Uh, needlessly so. Oh god. 
Hopefully, no. He thought they were gone. They're not gone. And now they find more oh, moves just sitting on him. It's a butthead. Zero tries to back away in some trouble and will eventually go down again. Dude, Moomiander, this game, 10, 2, and 12. What a freaking performance. Moonmander's been having a very good uh, beginning of 2020, I would say. His matchmaking rating is much higher. He's also drafting for the team. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think, like, it's easy to be like, oh, it's not surprising that Undying are doing so well in this league. Like, there's so many well-known names and stuff. But at the same time, this could be a team that I can see getting formed and people flame them when they lose their first two matches. You know what I mean? Just, like, based off some of the names and stuff. Like, some of them had, like, rough teams in the past, but they're performing, I would say, above expectations. I think they're probably the most underrated team for some reason, like the community or the public or i mean the panel right they don't really like understand that like how good this team actually is uh i think like our team like undying versus sad boys i think it's going to be like a huge test and same thing with like undying versus four zoomers like mm -hmm. those are like you're actually like really even matchups and i would say maybe even undying is maybe a bit favored um uh, they're, they're, they're playing really well and they also have saber light right okay. Nice. Tries to make it work. Shackles, as well as all the wards, drop down. He ends up, he lives. Able to back away, but they don't have anything to keep him in place. That is going to be an easy back out. They did lose Moon, though. I think uh, the Undying sort of storyline is going to be interesting to watch, like you said, along with uh, y'all and, and uh, Zoomers as well. It's sort of that the, the sort of battle out, it feels like. Um, and, you know, as... I'm sure you've seen time and again, teams get better throughout the course of the season. Now, I do notice that the European rank number one MMR player is currently 8-8-14. Eight, eight, and 14. Uh, Meanwhile, his <laughs> position four in North American <laughs> is 10-3-13. and 13. So I, I think that kind of uh, settles the debate once and for all. <laughs> it's, it's an offlaners patch, to be fair. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, you know. Unbelievable. Well, we've got a Paladin Sword picked up now as well going for a moon shard actually a monkey king dude's wild speaking of shards the shadow shaman one is just so impressive every time i see it it is insanely useful and when i first read it i thought that the snakes would only be able to attack the target and that was it they how morally misleading that was oh jubei he's gone oh, oh, living in the fountain yule scepter to keep himself alive Royo, yo, i actually just went down there i actually think the shard is kind of underwhelming uh, the shaman one? It looks so crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good for farming, but like, do you really want your shadow shaman to be farming like this? Like, would you rather he just have like a BK dude? I feel like when he first got it, it helped a lot in some of those early kills. Like when he was kind of yeah. snowballing a little bit. Yeah, possibly. Anyways, Dyer's face with the high ground defense here. Of the gun, he, he doesn't jug. believe. He doesn't believe. <laughs> I can hear it in his voice. <laughs> nah, that's cool. <laughs> look at it. Look at that. Like, yeah. Just LB up an extra 200 gold for that. Clearly <laughs> showing the strength there. <laughs> Dude, he could have gotten that healing. Oh, he didn't get it already. Some games blink BKB Rasta is just GG. Like, he could just go on Jug here and Radiant could do nothing to him. Could be a BKB. But now, but now look at him. Hey man, they winner's curse, they're saving him. They're trying to keep him alive with the chase down the big old rail comes out afterwards. Gets on to everybody, it's not gonna be enough, I don't think. Now they're chasing in. Omni Slash going, beating down Yamsum. Although, maybe a chance for a turnaround. Minus in all that armor, it takes him down once. Oh my god, is that a right? well. Okay, now chasing in, trying to run it, Roya. Won't be enough. They all back out. It was one melee racks though. Zero gets the blink away there. Interesting. Everybody doesn't want to go. He wants to finish this off. The slow city burn down coming through. We still have a minute until Requiem's back up again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Denied the range barracks. It's a lot of gold. Good. Matters. Oh, root. Chase away. They've still got that healing ward down, though. Zero tries to walk in and stop. Lee is not bet. Lee's not buying back. I'm, I'm very surprised. I guess he's just trying to hold for the, the two lives after. Winner's turn back up. Anyway. 15. Need a little bit. Omni Slash. Actually, no, excuse me. 
So just the Aghanims. Oh, they take it down. Yul Scepter afterwards trying to back away. Saberlight pops his own BKB as Moon running through everybody doing so much damage. And now Tomato back on top of Aurelia. It's going to beat him down. Oh, save. Not enough. Not enough. They're not able to salvage it. Dies in the duration of the spin. And now Amson gets jumped on by Bryle. And even in his Wukong's command, it won't be enough. They can't keep him alive. That is pain. Good yeah, moments yeah. throughout this game for Black and Yellow. Things uh, going better than expected, but in the end, it has Dying largely been an undying hand pretty much the entire game, right? Sort of like the, them dictating a lot of the, mo the uh, movements and uh, uh, any of the team Dying fights, too. Dyer did manage to force a couple of team fights that, you know, some went good, some went bad, right? Sometimes they comboed properly and killed enemy heroes. Other times, you know, Wyvern cursed the person they were trying to kill. Hmm. Yeah, it hurts. There's, there's been some decent cold embraces, but the problem is this jug is like all magic damage at this point. Well, and I feel like what I keep hearing from you is just like the the struggle in the laning phase is what propelled all of this as well, yeah? <laughs> the laning phase uh, the uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I think it's I think it was just really tough for Tide to have much of a game and give Jug a free game, but you don't really have a great answer to Jug. But, uh, well, definitely don't this care. SF. Yeah, I mean, we talked about the like the SF combo, right? One-shotting these, you know, Storm and Jugs, and I don't think we ever saw it. Maybe I once. Recall one. No, there were a lot of attempts. They they made it with a little bit of help from the shaman. Yeah, yeah. That's like the training wheels, you know. <laughs> True. Almost has the uh, arcane blink though. Yep. Oh, so, you know, that'll help. I think shorter cast point. We'll just screw up his timing a little bit more. Oh, he sold. Did he sell? He yeah, sold. He sold. He did. Oh no, he just sold like random like his bottle and like the magic. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I mean, right. you think he lost his blink dagger, but it's actually an arcane. Yeah, yeah, that's what got me for a second. <laughs> okay. Well, throwing out the gushes, Last trying to clear the waves. Do, do they want to combo an Ench or a Viper? I mean, they're looking for an opening, and poor old Zero oh, just gets wallowed. Now on top of the Shaman, looking for more. Requiem onto the back lines, blows up, well, not really even anybody, as they are on a triple kill. GG is called on time. Looking pretty freaking good, if I didn't say so myself. Everybody goes Yeah, they, they look they look all right. They look all right. Like, once again, I'm dying has played the weakest teams in the DPC. So, let's, I mean, they're 3-0, but, I mean, is it really that impressive? They beat the A-team. They beat 5-man minus 